In this video, I'll be showing you my 10 favorite exercises on the base bar by base blocks. For more details about the equipment, you can check out the link in the description below. While the base bar isn't as high as other pull-up bars, most people can still do full range chin-ups and pull-ups. For reference, I'm 179 centimeters or a little over 5'10". By tucking the legs or doing chin-ups in an L-sit, I can fully straighten the arms with each rep. There are also some benefits to doing chin-ups in this manner. Not only does it prevent kipping, but it also increases ab activation and challenges the lats more. If you're a beginner and can't yet do pull-ups, the base bar provides a convenient way to do negatives or feet assisted reps. You can also do chin-ups with band assistance by anchoring a band to the bar and placing it under your hips. Rows work the same muscles as chin-ups and pull-ups, but with a horizontal rather than vertical pulling pattern. Start hanging with bent knees and pull your chest to the bar. To increase the difficulty, you can elevate the feet or add weight with a vest. You can also do row variations, such as supinated rows or front lever rows. Straight bar dips work the chest, shoulders, and triceps. These are also great for developing control for the straight bar muscle up. With each rep, control the movement through range and lower as far as you can. The lower you can get in the straight bar dip, the less distance you'll have to travel to catch over the bar in your muscle up. While the muscle up is generally done on a high bar, you can also train it on the base bar. Due to the diameter, I find the false grip most comfortable. These can be done in a slow and controlled manner or using power from the pull-up. If you can't yet do unassisted muscle-ups, you can train them with band assistance. The L-sit to inverted lever is a front lever raise with accommodating resistance. This means the body extends as you approach the top to give a more even challenge through range. Not only will this work the back and shoulders, but it will build compressive ab and hip flexor strength. Band assisted planche training is a great way to bridge the gap between progressions. If one level feels too easy, but the next feels too hard, you can use bands to help you transition. As you get stronger, use thinner bands until you can do that progression without assistance. This can be used to unlock the tuck planche or train full planche push-ups. Place the band over the bar and position it in front of your hip bones. This will reduce the demand on the shoulders, but still require you to extend the hips against gravity. If you're training in the tuck position, you can place the band under the legs instead. The skin the cat exercise will build a combination of pushing, pulling, and core strength, along with improving shoulder mobility. This is a useful movement to master before focusing on front and back levers. Start hanging and pull through into a shoulder extension stretch. Then reverse the movement back to the hang. If you're new to this exercise, you can use your feet to assist you while you build strength and confidence. The base bar allows you to train the front and back levers in plenty of ways. You can do static holds, raises through range, and use various methods of band assistance. While you can't hang with the body extended, you can still train the core on the base bar. Options include tuck and L-sit holds, flutters, and toes to bar variations. These will help build compressive ab and hip flexor strength for skills like the press to handstand. The supinated support hold is a supplementary exercise for the planche. 
Not only will this train the anterior deltoids, but it will help condition the biceps due to a supinated grip. Start in the support position and lift your hips off the bar while keeping the arms straight. With this exercise, I like to perform a few sets of max holds at the end of my planche workouts. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, you can show your support by leaving a like and comment and make sure you're subscribed for future uploads.